Art and Heart by Ella Wheeler Wilcox, read for LibriVox by Christy Nowak, to celebrate the first anniversary of LibriVox. Though critics may bow to art, and I am its own true lover, it is not art, but heart, which wins the wide world over. Though smooth be the heartless prayer, no ear in heaven will mind it and the finest phrase falls dead if there is no feeling behind it. Though perfect the player's touch, little, if any, he sways us, unless we feel his heart throb through the music he plays us. Though the poet may spend his life in skillfully rounding a measure, unless he writes from a full, warm heart, he gives us little pleasure. So, it is not the speech which tells, but the impulse which goes with the saying. And it is not the words of the prayer, but the yearning back of the praying. It is not the artist's skill which into our soul comes stealing with a joy that is almost pain, but it is the player's feeling. And it is not the poet's song, though sweeter than sweet bells chiming, which thrills us through and through, but the heart which beats under the rhyming. And therefore I say again, Though I am art's own true lover, it is not art, but heart, which wins the wide world over. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.